Hi guys, Simon from xlightshows.io here. Now I just wanted to run you through a few things because we've got an incredible epic light show that's coming up and I want you to understand exactly what you need to do, what you can expect and how it's all going to play out. So when you arrive on site, you're going to be met by uh, our marshals. Those will all be wearing high-vis jackets and they're there for your safety but also to make sure that you get to the right place at the right time. Initially, they'll probably move you into a staging area and then we'll ask you to move directly to the formation where you'll be greeted by either me or another uh, volunteer to actually move you in. Now, don't be surprised if we ask just for that final meter for either myself or someone to drive your car just inching into the formation to make sure that we've got it all perfect. It is a lot easier than directing people. Trust me, I've done this enough times. So it's much quicker and um, we'll be obviously super careful with your vehicle. Once you're in place, you can go ahead and enjoy the festivities. So go hang out with everybody, go and find uh, friends. Obviously, these things are so, so cool for just meetups. So go and enjoy yourselves. And then about half an hour before the actual show is scheduled to start, we'll invite everybody to come back to their vehicles. Now, at that point, you should see on your car the memory stick. So the memory stick will be on your windscreen, normally underneath the windscreen wiper. All right. And that is really important. It's being configured for your vehicle. So it can't be shared around. Please do not uh, hand over to a next door neighbor because every single car will have its own show, which then when played together is obviously going to create something really, really magical. So at this point, we've got to put this in the car. So I was thinking, let's move to the car and I can show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so we're in the car now and we've got just some very, very simple procedures to follow. So I'll swing the camera around and we'll be able to see exactly what we need to do on the screen. Now we just have to go ahead and insert our memory stick into the sentry port. Now, for the majority of us, that's going to be in the um, glove box. But if you've got a Model 3 that was built prior to 2021, that's now going to be in your center console. So wherever your sentry is, that's where we're going to be putting our memory stick. OK, so the majority of us are going to have to open our glove box. And there's several ways that you can do that. The conventional way is via the screen by pressing the car icon in the bottom and then just tapping the glove box. Another way is to use the voice command. Open glove box. But if you're like me and you need to open up the glove box on a very, very regular basis, especially with all these light shows, there's also another way that you can do it, which is really convenient by configuring the left hand scroll wheel. Let me show you how to do that. OK, and to do this, it's really simple. So again, we're going to go to the uh, menu button here, which is the car icon that brings up our controls and we're going to go to display scroll down just a little bit and then we have this option for scroll wheel function so this is the long press scroll wheel for quick access to and we have some options here now one thing that we can do is go straight down to the bottom and select glove box so next time all you'll need to do is hold on to your scroll wheel on the left hand side and your glove box will pop open okay so we're just going to reach inside here and pull out the sentry memory stick and we're going to replace that with our show stick okay okay so our memory stick is in place and all we need to do now is schedule the show so we'll do that by selecting the three dot icon at the bottom which will bring up our menu toy box is the icon that we want to be touching next and of course that's bringing up all the fun things that you can do in a Tesla but of course light show being number one. We'll go ahead and press schedule show. That's going to bring up a pop-up. On here we're going to see light show and this here, although it says Star Wars at the moment as this example, will mention the name of the show that you're attending. We're going to want to rack the volume all the way up and then move on to the scheduled time. Just before we do that, if this does not say the show that you're expecting, then there might be something wrong, either with the memory stick itself or just the way that it's been put in. But if that's not what you're expecting, put up your hand, turn on your blinkers, 
and someone will be along to help you. But if everything's good and it's showing the right show, then you've got your scheduled time. We're going to go ahead and select the time that is being shouted out at the event. In this instance, 408. That's going to disengage the dance moves. Now, don't worry about that. One of the questions I always get is, are we having dance moves? I can tell you now that on the big shows, I'd leave the dance moves out. Now, we do that for several reasons. Firstly, it's safety. We've got drones flying around, people flying around. We don't want anybody getting hit. So I purposefully do not include those in the show. But you can check it or uncheck it. It doesn't matter. But just to let you know that it will automatically uncheck. Once we're happy, we've got our show, we've got our volume up, we've got the right time scheduled. We then go ahead and press confirm. And that shows us our ticking timer all the way from 10 minutes or nine minutes in this instance. And um, that is when showtime will begin. Now, here's some really important bits though. You need to leave the vehicle. You can't leave anybody or anything inside, for example, a pet, um, because it's too loud, it's not safe. And also it'll disconnect the show. Once you're outside the door and you've closed it, do not open the door, do not open the front, the trunk, the boot, whatever. Don't do it. Once the car is set, any opening of anything will disconnect the show and it won't work. So once you're finished and you're happy, get out the vehicle, stand there, put your hand up. Somebody will just come along and check that your timer is synced with everybody else's. And once that's all verified, they'll tap you on the shoulder and you can go down to the viewing area. It's really simple. And this is the part where we get to enjoy the show. Okay, so we've finished our configuration at the car. All that's left to do is to make our way down to the viewing area. So we'll all congregate down there so we can get an incredible view of the Tesla light show itself. Afterwards, I'll go ahead and create a, uh, a master video. So that'll include all of our drones, that'll include all of our ground footage. It really, really will be spectacular. Now guys, I can't wait for this show and I can't wait to uh, to meet you all as well. And I just want to say in advance that, you know, we may have an idea and we may have a dream of how this is going to look, but without you guys, it's not even possible. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking part. And um, guys, I will see you at this light show. Take it easy. Bye bye.